This is a movement preparation flow sequence and I've chosen some exercises which are gonna be a little bit more strength orientated, primarily to get us moving firstly, but also to generate a little bit more activation and muscle temperature. So if you can follow along or you can just move this through into your warm up preparation before you start your handstand main session. So we're gonna start down on the floor and we're gonna work through what we call a cobra position. Think about your hands making the shape of a snake's hood. So I'm gonna lie in, tummy nice and tight, backside like I'm cracking a worn up. And I'm gonna come through into our wide position and then sweep the hands around the back, squeezing the shoulder blades together in this bottom position, palms to the floor, sweep back up. So lift, push up nice and far away, so make yourself as long and as straight in this position as you can, and then squeeze around, back and down together with the shoulder blades, and then back through. Make sure you're not arching the back in this position, but staying super locked in. Squeeze high, and then sweep. So we can take ourselves through a set of reps, anything from six to 10 will work well. Hands to the side, up into push-up position, making sure that we're connecting from that bottom and we're bringing everything up together, not arching through the back and lifting. So stay connected, drive out. We can throw some push-up reps in and then we're gonna move into our Pluto sniff or downward dog position. As I come up into this high arch, you can push the hands up, um, head between the shoulders. And I'm gonna sweep down, elbows behind the body, come back into the bottom of our push-up, reconnect, drive back out. Come through, lower down, sweep yourself in, reconnect to the bottom, squeeze the butt cheeks like you're cracking a warm-up, and drive yourself back up. Into our push-up position, then we're just gonna get a little bit of movement and rotation around the hips and spine, so I can bring my foot up, place it outside of the, of the hand, and then from here, I can lift up my right side and just bring the rotation through. Sometimes people, when they're moving into a frog stand, can find the hips are a bit tight to get into a low position. So spend some time here, can rock forwards, squeezing this back glute to get the leg nice and straight. Feel that rotation. Back through, and I can just rep some of those that start to open out that hip position. Back into my push-up, and then from here, I can just pop forwards. I can sit onto the heels if I've got this deep squat position. Come through, nice high shape. Might want to stand, sit back in. Hands to the floor, can pop back out. Repeat back through. You can flow these through and get a little bit creative with how you want to put them together. Sit through, push up, and then pop back. If you want to, you can try and extend that lift position so you can do it slowly. So you get started to take some weight up on the shoulders. Rep those through, finish with a push-up. That's a real simple little movement exercise. You'll feel warm, I'm a little bit out of breath, but we're also yeah, getting everything in the patterns we want to use, moving well for our handstands. Muscles are fired up, ready to do some work.